Hey, Nina Lewis here from Nina Online, and I am in Long Island, New York, and I'm so excited because after weeks and weeks of snow, the sun is finally shining. But today, I wanted to talk to you about revenue generating activities. Many people always ask me, well, Nina, you're teaching how to make 1K or more online, and you're teaching people how to build their online business, but what should I be focusing on exactly to put more sales in my inbox on a daily basis? And I'll tell you that in just a minute. But you see, here's the thing. A lot of people are saying you should tweak your website, you should go do social media, you should write a blog post. There's so many things that people are telling you. But I wanna share with you, you wanna do highly leveraged revenue generating activities. So what do I mean by highly leveraged revenue generating activities? You wanna choose activities where you are focusing on speaking to many people instead of one person at a time. That way you have more leverage and you can get your message out to more people with and have a bigger impact with doing something that is strategic and aligned with your business. So. What can you focus on where you can go ahead and instead of marketing to one person, you can market to many people at one time and get more people to know, like, and trust you. There are seven revenue generating activities that you should focus on that are highly leveraged and that can get you more sales in your inbox today. So today I want to share with you four and then stay tuned for the next video where I'll share with you the last three. So we're, what are the top four that I'm talking about? The first one is networking. The second one is speaking. The third one is email marketing. And the fourth one is having a sales conversation. So let's go into the first one, networking. Okay, so there's free networking events and there's paid networking events. What you wanna focus on is actually the paid networking events or the networking events that are held by organizations like BNI or NABO. And there's so many other ones, Latip. There's so many other business organizations. You wanna focus on those that really are in the art of networking and they focus on bringing value to all their members, okay? So you want to focus on the networking events that have high-level business owners in there that are willing to invest in services and programs and products that you may have. And the thing with those networking events is that they also have like nightly mixers or monthly mixers or different kind of mixers where you can go to their mixers and their events and you can go ahead and network with many people who are in that organization. So that way that can also free up your time and of going to a week to week event however i do recommend that you go to week to week events as well because people get to know like and trust you and then the more the more they see your face the more they get to know and build a relationship with you over time so don't single out going to weekly meetings however you want to limit your free networking events because I tend to notice that when you go to free networking events, a lot of people are in there. They're not really focused on, well, they are focused on making sales, but they're not really focused on offering value and making it a win-win. Don't get me wrong because there are some free networking events that are, um, there are some quality people in there. From my experience, that's how I built my business in Vegas. I did go to a lot of free networking events as well as paid networking events, but stick to some of the paid, highly leveraged people who understand understand that investing in their business is important okay so now the second that brings me to the second revenue generating activity which is speaking so you could speak these networking events that you're going to you can actually go ahead and speak and let people know about your business and at the end of your speech you can make an offer or invite them to get to know more about you so here's the thing with that so a lot of networking organizations are actually looking for speakers so you just get on the phone Ask them what kind of topics they need or tell them what you do and see if you can go ahead and speak about your business or your topic. Most of the time, though, those kind of networking events let their, their uh, audience members, their members rotate with speaking. However, if you're not an audience member somewhere, you can go to different organizations and say, hey, I have a topic that I need to speak about and I think this would be a perfect fit for your um your organization. For example, like when I was doing uh, social media workshops, I would go ahead and go speak about social media and the benefit of social media to different networking groups and different organizations, as well as for different types of people like medical professionals, like social media for medical professionals and things like that. So find the associations where your target market is hanging out and let them know that you're able to be a keynote speaker, okay? 
and you're sitting there, you're getting in contact with organizations where they ha already have a big following. So that cuts your, uh, your grunt time or your work time in half because all those people are already there. You don't have to reach them one by one. So the third thing is sales conversations. So you're going out speaking, you're going out networking, you're doing all this networking. So how are you going to get on the phone with these people so you're going to ask them invite them to a phone conversation or a face-to-face -face meeting and actually have a sales conversation and see how you can help them or how you can support each other in your business so you want to be talking to people on a daily basis letting them know about you and your services but more importantly finding out about them and seeing what they need and if you're not the perfect fit for them you can introduce them to someone who may be the perfect fit for them so this brings me to the fourth revenue generating activity which is email marketing so email marketing you can reach a lot of people at one time there's people who are actually they're, they're people who would like to know what you have to offer and you know this because they actually raised their hand and said yes I want to hear from you because they put they gave you their name and their information so they want to know your valuable tips they want to know your information they want to know more about you but the thing is you want to do email marketing tastefully you do not want to go ahead and spam them and say buy my stuff buy my stuff buy from me every time they're opening an email from you instead you want to offer them a lot of value a lot of free tips a lot of strategies and a lot of advice and then periodically you want to make an offer and invite them to make a purchase but you want to do that on a consistent basis but do not be pushy slimy or salesy so those are four revenue generating excuse me four highly revenue highly leveraged revenue generating activities that you can do today so stay tuned for the next video where i'll share the last three until next time nina lewis signing out talk to you later bye